Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, listen, dude. Um, are we not getting double cash money on businesses anymore, Rockstar? It's what's going on? It's been uh, quite some time now. Now listen, um, I'm all for you know mixing it up and keeping things you know in rotation, but it has been quite some time since we've had a business go double money. And uh, a lot of people, every time I stream, they, they're, people are actually concerned that I tie. Is Rockstar not going to be doing any more double money on businesses? Because, you know, if you're a money grinder, especially like myself, my crew, many others like me, we enjoy all the different types of ways to make money in the game. And we look forward to the new weekly double money bonuses, right? It's just fun. It's a, it's a great way to kind of focus in on a particular business or event or whatever. And yes, like I said just a few moments ago, I'm okay with the variation and different things. However, I'm not okay with Rockstar abandoning so much good quality content and opportunities for people to make money, especially when double money is really some of the only ways that people will even you know, interact with some of these businesses or, or events or modes. And even with the double money, um, you know, a lot of times it's still you have to kind of force yourself to get into it. Now, we have the information for next week's uh, bonuses, the next week event, all the information's out. And again, no more, you know, no businesses are double cash money. And what we do have double and even triple cash money on, um, you know, you just have to kind of have a disciplined focus on getting involved with them and actually enjoying them because they just don't, even with double or triple money, they just don't pay out that well, right? So now for myself, and I'm speaking for myself right now, I enjoy all the different types of, of you know different events and, and things that go on double money and I enjoy all the different types of events regardless if there's a double money bonus I'm just you know different like that I'm just weird like that uh, but for you know the majority of players out there they're not like me they really do rely and depend on that double cash money incentive and they depend and rely on that to get them you know motivated to enjoy those different game modes and especially the businesses right and this is where it kind of um, bothers me a little bit more. You know, two very popular, um, you know, money-making opportunities have been released with the Cluck and Bell raids and the Salvage Yard robberies, right? I mean, it's a major DLC and a couple of really good opportunities to make money, right? And neither one of them, I'm surprised that the Salvage Yard, the Chop Shop robberies, have not been put on double money yet. Uh, no, no love to with those at all, really. You know, a few aspects of uh, you know that that particular DLC, maybe like the tow truck missions and things, where uh, there were some bonuses, which is great. I applaud that. I do. But you know, I I'm making this video to kind of really just you know shed light on this, and I really, really hope that Rockstar uh, does not just completely you know leave out the businesses because it's been a long time, you know, and I wouldn't make a video like this if I didn't actually start having some kind of concern with this. Uh, I really think that Rockstar, you know, maybe obviously not this very next upcoming week, but the following week, you know, let's bring it back and put some businesses in the rotation, you know, maybe, you know, double up on some of your new uh, money making opportunities like the Cluck and Bell raid and the Chop Shop robberies. And not only are we talking about the businesses, I mean, the heists have not really been getting a lot of love in regard to certain things, you know, I. We did get diamonds not too long ago. Got to applaud that, right? That came back in the game. Uh, but it's such a limited, uh, you know, event. You're only able to get them for a certain percentage. And I don't know. It just seems very, very disingenuous, you know. And when's the last time that we saw the Panther, you know? When, Rockstar, when you so highly and aggressively limit these things, it encourages people to do things like the replay glitch where they, they're they able to store and save, you know, the Panther or the Diamonds because what I do will never get them back again, right? And so that kind of encourages people to do those and abuse those exploits. But if you put it into a regular rotation and allowed people to enjoy the content that you built for us, you know, that would be so much more fun. I think everyone can agree, you know, when we get double money on crates, which is a fan favorite, you know, the hangar business, and when we get double cash money and RP on the MC businesses, which honestly is really, for a lot of people, they don't even fool with MC businesses anymore because there's so many money-making opportunities. The MC business, it's, you know, for a lot of people, the grind is just not worth it. Again, people like me, I, I love it. 
I try and sell it all the time or when I can. Uh, but, you know, when you put that double money incentive on there, it really gets people, you know, back into those businesses and enjoying that content. It's great content. It really is. You know, so I just really hope that, you know, somebody, if Rockstar gets this, you see this, man, somebody out there, uh, you know, get these businesses back in the rotation, start showing some more love to the heists. You know what I mean? Uh, and and that it just either way you look at it, whether you're trying to, you know, dull down the, the game because GTA 6 is coming out or, you know, say these rumors are true about the delay and who knows when the online element's going to come out. We still need the good quality money-making opportunities. You know, most people already have enough money in the game. You know, the money grinders, we just enjoy playing the content, right? And then you still do have thousands and thousands of new players every week. And it's good for them to have a good, you know, method and a good opportunity to make some great money and to kickstart their, you know, GTA Online empire, right? So it works, uh, you know, it, it, it really does help out in both scenarios, whether or not, you're just trying to, you know, kind of just kill the game out for GTA 6 Online, which, again, we don't know how that's going to look. We don't know how GTA Online 2.0, GTA 6 Online is going to play out. So we don't know how it's going to work. So either way, regardless, you know, I definitely want to see these businesses get back into rotation for double money, triple money bonuses even, right? Remember that one 4th of July that we had, like, it was like, what, like seven years ago? Where Rockstar, you put all of the almost all of the businesses double cash money. Oh my God, that was amazing! That was incredible. Never did I see so many more people in the lobbies out there and and free mode lobbies, is having a great time, grinding out, having some fun. You want player engagement? That's how you get it right there. You know, maybe they're just trying to put us all in a in, in a lull for that. You know, but still, that's still several months away, right? We're talking like you know twelve weeks away. <laughs> Uh, you know, 10 weeks at the at the minimum. Uh, that's 10 weekly updates. We don't have any any double cash money if you're just saving it for a big 4th of July extravaganza. You know, so I, know, I just hope that we get it back. We have some fun with it. And uh, again, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Has Rockstar done away with double cash money on the businesses? Are we never going to get the Panther back in Cayo Perico Heist? We're not going to see any more Cayo Perico, uh, you know, bonuses and things like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, all right? Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash, smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah, yeah.